69 nations represented in the graduating class are People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, Argentine Republic, Commonwealth of Australia, the Republic of Azerbaijan, People's Republic of Bangladesh, Belize, Republic of Benin, Federated Republic of Brazil, Area, Canada, Republic of Chile, Republic of Colombia, Republic of the Congo, Republic of Cote d'Ivoire, Republic of Croatia, Kingdom of Denmark, Dominican Republic, Arab Republic of Egypt, Republic of Estonia, French Republic, Georgia. Federal Republic of Germany, Republic of Ghana, Hellenic Republic, Republic of Guatemala, Republic of Haiti, Republic of India, Republic of Indonesia, Republic of Iraq, State of Israel, Italian Republic, Japan, Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, Republic of Kenya, Republic of Korea, State of Kuwait, Republic of Latvia, Lebanese Republic, Republic of Lithuania, Malaysia, Islamic Republic of Mauritania, United Mexican States, Montenegro, Kingdom of Morocco, Republic of Mozambique, New Zealand, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Kingdom of Norway, Sultanate of Oman, Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Republic of Peru, Philippines, Republic of Poland, Romania, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Republic of Senegal, Republic of Singapore, Republic of Slovenia, Republic of South Africa, Kingdom of Spain, Taiwan, United Republic of Tanzania, Democratic Republic of Timor-Leste, Togolese Republic, Tunisian Republic, United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, United States of America, Socialist Republic of Vietnam. The United States Armed Services and the United States government agencies represented in the graduating class include the United States Navy, the United States Army, the United States Marine Corps, the United States Air Force, the United States Coast Guard, United States Department of the Army, Department of Defense, Air Force Material Command, Air Force Office of Special Investigations Command, Army Intelligence and Security Command, Central Intelligence Agency, Coast Guard Maritime Intelligence Fusion Center, Cruise Missile Support Activity, Defense Criminal Investigative Service, Defense Intelligence Agency, Defense Contract Management Agency, Defense Logistics Agency, Defense Security Cooperation Agency, Defense Senior Leadership Development Program, Defense Technology Analysis Office, the Department of Homeland Security. The Department of Justice, the Department of State, Federal Air Marshal Service, Federal Aviation Administration, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Federal Executive Board, the Government Accountability Office, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Management Command, Marine Corps 
Counterintelligence Activity, Marine Forces Cyberspace Command, the Maritime Administration, the Military Sealift Command, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, the National Guard Bureau, the Military Sealift Command, Norfolk, the National Nuclear Security Administration, National Security Agency, NATO Allied Command, Transformation Detachment, Naval Air Systems Command, Naval Air Warfare Center, the Naval Criminal Investigative Service, Naval Facilities Engineering Command, the Naval Postgraduate School, Naval Sea Systems Command, Naval Special Warfare Command, Naval Surface Warfare Center, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, the Office of the Inspector General, the Office of the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Health Affairs, the Office of the Secretary of Defense, OPNAV, Spow War System Center Atlantic, Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction, the Transportation Security Administration, the U.S. Secret Service, the U.S. Africa Command, the U.S. Agency for International Development, U.S. Coast Guard 8th District, U.S. Coast Guard Marine Safety Unit, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, the U.S. Department of Commerce, the Department of Energy, the U.S. Department of Justice, the United States House of Representatives, the United States Joint Staff, the U.S. Marshal Service, the United States Pacific Command, the United States Senate, and the United States Special Operations Command.
like, hey, I'm here. If I'm in the for you, and it's here, I'll hold care for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem will be sung by musician third class Christiana Bialba from the Navy Band Northeast. Watch. 
Todd, chaplain of the Naval Leadership and Ethics Center, will deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray your blessing upon these graduates of the Naval War College academic year 2017 we gather to honor this morning. Your word reminds us as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. For the past year, these leaders have had their minds sharpened by the rigors of study and new ideas. Their experience and insight tempered on the anvil of reflection and critique and their critical reasoning refined through the crucible of academic discourse, debate, and discussion. We give you thanks for sustaining them through every test, exercise, and paper, and the perseverance that enabled them to run the course with endurance. As they return to the operational arena, grant them wisdom in applying the knowledge and skills they have mastered through this course of instruction. Give them the spirit of a scholar-warrior, ever seeking a deeper understanding of the forces at play in the field of battle, a greater appreciation of the operational arena, and a more precise way forward in an hour of complexity and crisis. Enable them to maintain a steadfastness of purpose, fidelity to their nation, and self-sacrificial dedication to their profession and its high principles of honor, courage, and commitment in defense of liberty, justice, and freedom for all. Bless also the faculty and staff that have instructed, challenged, and demanded more of these students, that they might be fully equipped and ready for the task ahead. And for the family and friends who have encouraged and supported them, we give you thanks. Finally, we pray that you would use this ceremony to stir in each of us a renewed desire to engage the challenges that lie ahead and a firm commitment to fulfill our role in serving the cause of security, prosperity, and peace for all Looking forward to the day when your truth, justice, and righteousness shall reign. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. All military members, please uncover this time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present Rear Admiral Harley, 56th President of the United States Naval War College. Ladies and gentlemen, our gifted and extraordinary faculty and staff, admirals, generals, ambassadors, foundation members, family, friends, and especially the students. Good morning and welcome to a beautiful day here in Newport. It's a great pleasure and truly an honor for me to be here to be able to address my first summer graduation at your U.S. Naval War College. Today we celebrate the many accomplishments of our graduates and to formally mark their transition from intellectually curious students at arrival to the enlightened and dedicated professionals in strategy and national security that they are today. For our graduates, I simply hope my words today reinforce your experience of this last year and perhaps in some small way tie together the threads of this rigorous year of education. For today, you all join the long line of Naval War College graduates that extends back 133 years. You are the new line of leaders from a list that includes the heroes that helped to make our nation and countless more unsung heroes whose daily efforts defined our nation and set a course that we follow today. Through your dedicated efforts and hard work, you have also been able to refine your warfighting skills and grown as members of the profession of arms. Although each of you worked very hard to be here today, let's not forget the tremendous efforts of our brilliant and committed faculty and staff. To the faculty and staff, I would like to say thank you and bless you for your gift to this generation of future leaders. I also want to, in particular, thank the commanding officer of the base, Dennis, your extraordinary leadership makes this the most awesome base in the world. God bless you. I also want to say thank you to the families and friends who join us here today. Thank you for supporting your spouses, your children, your brothers, your sisters, and friends during their hard work here at the college. 
Your presence not only makes this ceremony more memorable for your graduates, it recognizes your role in the accomplishments we celebrate today. For we all know that life in the military takes a team. Your love, your encouragement, your support are the foundation of all we do. Thank you all for your love and support. Speaking of foundations, the U.S. Naval War College Foundation selflessly supports this great college to ensure the continued success of this great institution. Thank you to the War College Foundation. Now I remember joining the foundation as a way of continuing my ties with this special institution and a way to pay it forward. Many thanks for the generosity and bless you all for what you do. To the students, welcome to the brotherhood and sisterhood of Naval War College alumni. For tis this story shall a good man teach his son, and crisp and crispy and shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy, we band of brothers. Congratulations on your accomplishments, brothers and sisters. So it's been almost 20 years since I graduated from this amazing institution, your U.S. Naval War College, and I remember how I felt that day. I remember that feeling of accomplishment for completing a rigorous course of study, a two-year master's degree in 10 months. That's a whole lot of reading, writing, and reflection, and thank goodness for coffee. I also remember the joy of having a new, a new set of skills, a new toolkit, perhaps, a new ability for critical thinking. I remember how awed I was by the extraordinary faculty. And I'm sure some of my professors were equally awed that I was able to somehow squeak by in this academic environment so far from the operations that I thought I'd do so well. I remember the camaraderie of my classmates, both international and from the then alien worlds of joint services. I was a better officer from that day forward. And I remember just a slight hint of uncertainty, a trepidation, and maybe even a touch of fear about the road ahead and the more demanding assignments that potentially awaited me. And I trust that you all have some of these same feelings. And now you go forward, not merely to execute, or in some cases, God bless you, to lead others to the gates of hell and back when called upon, but rather to think, to help shape the contours of the debate, to help assess and clarify the seemingly impossible, to provide the key argument that carries the day, to be the light of the ethical standard for others to emulate, but most importantly, to distill the essence of courage in all that you do. Albert Einstein said, any intelligent fool can make things bigger, more complex, and more violent. It takes a touch of genius and a lot of courage to move in the opposite direction. You may not know it, but you are that genius. You now must muster the courage. If not you, then who? And if not now, then when? Each of you will return to positions of greater responsibility in government, at headquarters staffs, and even leading forces in combat. Knowing this, I am reminded of the great American revolutionary hero, John Paul Jones, who said, sign on, young man, and sail with me. The stature of our homeland is no more than the measure of ourselves. Our job is to keep her free. Our will is to keep the torch of freedom burning for all. To this solemn purpose we call on the young, the brave, the strong, and the free. Heed my call. Come to the sea. Come sail with me. Today, you sail away to destinations far and near, distant corners of the globe, to strange and curious cultures and places, including one called Pentagon. <laughs> and you do this to further the stature of your homeland, to keep her free to even the last full measure of devotion if required, to keep that torch of freedom burning for now and forevermore. And so today we graduate 178 students from the senior course taught by the College of Naval Warfare and Naval Command College, 245 students from the intermediate course taught by the College of Naval Command and Staff and the Naval Staff College, and 
and 1,079 students from a college of distance education, 92 of whom are with us here today. Congratulations to each of you. Your education is truly a gift from our nation to you. And as you continue to grow in rank and responsibility, you'll find there is no more precious a commodity than time. And you've just been given a gift of study, reflection, and debate. A gift of time to grow intellectually and to prepare for the challenges that wait. Do not take this gift for granted. I task each of you to be the best warfighter that you can be, to be ready for the terror of war that comes, to be ready emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Our world is more dangerous than ever before. There are nations challenging the very fabric of our international order. Technology is enabling irrational behavior. And in light of this, King Henry V said, according to Shakespeare, "'Tis true that we are in great danger. The greater, therefore, should our courage be. I task you all, then, to have that courage, to know that your faith is not misplaced either in God or in a nation that, for all its challenges, is unmatched in all the world. There is no nation like ours, no military as capable, no skilled thinkers as abundant and war tested as you. You are the asymmetric advantage that must hold tight to the strange sinews of liberty that echoes in our very soul. I task each of you to also develop the constructs of peace, to build the international partnerships and alliances critical for our future, to rage against the dying of the light, to give our children one more month, one more day, one more minute, one more precious second of peace where we can. At the college, the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Education quotation on the wall of the Weldon Corridor should speak to us all. It says, since wars begin in the minds of men, it is in the minds of men that defenses of peace must be constructed. You attended the world's best war college, but its greatness is not only a better understanding of war, but also an understanding of the enablers of peace in order to make conflict a last resort. As we stand here, a mere century from a world war that was almost automated in its triggered nature, we must reflect, too, on the horrible costs of our work. I task you, therefore, to understand your art and the need for the constructs of both war and peace. I hope this college has given you that skill, really this gift. Our military art can never be an independent task divorced from the policy of our nation. Our professor Milan Vago tells us, in a concept no doubt hammered home in your studies, that to have any lasting value, tactical successes must be achieved as part of a larger and broader framework determined by strategy and policy. You now go forward to be the individuals who will determine that strategy and contribute to that policy. And your journey will take you into the halls of the most powerful decision-making forums in the world. I hope, nay, I know, our great college has prepared you for this journey. So I'll close with the words of the great British philosopher, Christopher Robin, who said to his friend Pooh Bear on a day much like today, if ever there is a tomorrow when we're not together, there's something you must always remember. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And so, being braver, stronger, and smarter at the conclusion of this year of study, we all of us wish you Godspeed. God bless you, God bless America, and God bless us, everyone. Thank you very much. to selected students who have distinguished themselves by their academic achievement. In some instances, there are individuals receiving honorable mention for their work and they will have their names read aloud. Individuals receiving an honorable mention will stand and be recognized in their place. The first place awardees will then be announced and invited to the stage for formal recognition.
The Robert E. Batesman's International Prize is presented for the best paper submitted by the Naval Command College student on a topic relating to enforced planning or strategic issues of maritime interest. A cash prize is provided by the Naval War College Foundation for the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. Robert E. Bateman. Mr. John E. Odegaard, Executive Director of the Naval War College Foundation, will present the award. The Robert E. Bateman's International Prize for the essay, Black Sea Calling, a Maritime Response to the Ukraine Crisis, goes to Captain Sandeep Singh Rindala, Indian Navy Naval Command College. For every resident student present here today, there are eight other students located around the globe engaged in the Naval War College's distance education program. This year, there are 1,079 graduates of the College of Distance Education, of whom 94 are with us here today. Distance education is unique. It's a unique challenge in that the student completes his or her education while engaged in their full-time day job thus requiring special initiative and dedication. It is with a profound sense of camaraderie and appreciation for their efforts that we salute our distance education students. The McGinnis Family Award for Outstanding Performance in Non-Resident Education is sponsored by Captain D. Robert McGinnis, United States Naval Reserve, retired, a Naval War College Foundation trustee. The Cash Award it recognizes the Fleet Seminar Program graduate of the College of Distance Education who displays superior standards of academic support, performance, professionalism, and community service. The winner of the McGinnis Family Award for Outstanding Performance in Non-Resident Education is Ms. Cam Chin Donahue, College of Distance Education. submitted by a student in the Naval Staff College. Selection is made by the President of Naval War College based on the recommendations of a prize essay committee. The award consists of a perpetual plaque displayed at the Naval War College bearing the winner's names. Recipients of the award are also given an inscribed certificate documenting their accomplishments along with a cash pr uh, prize provided by the generosity of Mr. and Mrs. Jilson Gray and the Naval War College Foundation. The award is named in honor of their fathers, Commander Donald Zimmerman, United States Navy, and Commander Jilson B. Gray, Jr., United States Navy, both career naval aviators who saw combat during World War II. Mr. Jilson Gray and Mrs. Jean Zimmerman will present the award. Honorable mention for the essay Think like a gorilla to beat hybrid warfare in the littorals goes to Major Eileen Chua, Republic of Singapore Navy, Naval Staff College. The Zimmerman Gray International Award first prize. 
enterprise for the SA an imperative to engage relevant scope and prospects of U.S. India China maritime cooperation towards achieving stability and security in the Indian Ocean region is awarded to Lieutenant Commander Modit Soni, Indian Navy Naval Staff Officer. Each year, the Navy League of the United States presents two awards, one to the graduate of the College of Naval Warfare and one to the, college, the graduate of the College of Naval Command and Staff. These awards are given in memory of Rear Admiral Stephen B. Luce and Admiral William S. Sims, respectively. Admiral Luce was the first president of the Naval War College, and Admiral Sims was president of the Naval War College at two points in his distinguished career. Recipients of this award are chosen based on their outstanding achievement across a spectrum of disciplines, which include academic performance, participation in Naval War College activities, participation in civic and community activities, and promotion of armed and government service in the public interest. Mr. Thomas Feeney, President of the Navy League of the United States Newport County Council, will present the award. The Stephen B. Luce Award for the Distinguished Graduate of the College of Naval Warfare is presented to Colonel Patrick Flom, United States Army. The William S. Sims Award for the Distinguished Graduate of the College of Naval Command and Staff is presented to Lieutenant Commander Jeffrey Mack, United States Navy. Please join us in congratulating these award winners for their outstanding efforts and performance in the show. Dr. Thomas R. Fedison, would you please come forward to join Admiral Harley? Dr. Fedison is being awarded Professor. Emeritus, National Security Affairs. The President of the United States Naval War College takes pleasure in appointing Thomas R. Fedison as Professor Emeritus, National Security Affairs. In recognition of your long, dedicated service to the United States Naval War College as Professor of National Security Affairs, it is my pleasure to confirm your appointment as Professor Emeritus with all the honors, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto on this date, the 16th day of June, 2017, signed 
Jeffrey A. Harley, President, United States Naval War College. Ladies and gentlemen, we will begin the presentation of the graduates. Grandma Harley, please move to the podium. Captain Kevin McGowan, United States Navy, Director of Naval Command College, will present the Naval Command College. Naval Command College, please rise. Admiral Harley, I have the honor to present the Naval Command College Class of 2017 candidates for the United States Naval War College Diploma. They have been thoroughly examined and approved by the faculty. I confer upon you the United States Naval War College Diploma with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Naval Command College, please be seated. College of Naval Warfare, please rise. Admiral Harley, I have the honor to present the College of Naval Warfare Class of 2017 candidates for the Master of Arts in National Security and Strategic Studies. They have been thoroughly examined and approved by the faculty. By the power vested in me by the Almighty God, by the Secretary of the Navy, and the accreditation of the New England Association of Schools and Colleges, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Arts in National Security and Strategic Studies. College of Naval Warfare. Captain Mark Turner, United States Navy, Director of Naval Staff College, will present the Naval Staff College. Naval Staff College, please rise. Admiral Harley, I have the honor to present the Naval Staff College Class of 2017. Candidates for the United States Naval War College Diploma. They have been thoroughly examined and approved by the faculty. I confer upon you the United States Naval War College Diploma with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Naval Staff College of Class 2017, please be seated. <laughs> College of Naval Command and Staff, please rise. Admiral Harley, I have the honor to present the College of Naval Command and Staff Class of 2017 candidates for the Master of Arts in Defense and Strategic Studies. They have been thoroughly examined and approved by the faculty. By the power vested in me by the Almighty God and the Secretary of the Navy and the accreditation of the New England Association of Schools and Colleges, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Arts in Defense and Strategic Studies. Professor Tim Gurl, Deputy Director, College of Distance Education, will present the College of Distance Education. Master's degree candidates of the College of Distance Education, please rise. Admiral Harley, I have the honor to present the College of Distance Education, Class of 2017, to candidates for the Master of Arts in National Defense and Strategic Studies or Defense and Strategic Studies. They have been thoroughly examined and approved by the faculty. By the power vested in me by the Almighty God, by the Secretary of the Navy, and the accreditation of the New England Association of Schools and Colleges, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Arts in Defense and Strategic Studies. Master's degree candidates of the College of Distance Education, please be seated. Diploma candidates of the College of Distance Education, please rise. Admiral Harley, 
I have the honor to present the College of Distance Education Class of 2017 candidates for the United States Naval War College Diploma. They have been thoroughly examined and approved by the faculty. I confer upon you the United States Naval War College Diploma with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Diploma candidates of the College of Distance Education, please be seated. Graduates will now receive their diplomas. Beyond the requirements for graduation, certain individuals have distinguished themselves through academic excellence. A diploma with highest distinction is presented to the top 5% of each graduating class. A diploma with distinction is presented to the next 15% of each graduating class. Graduates will proceed to the stage as their name is read. Please hold your applause until all names have been read so that all names and recognitions may be heard. Lieutenant Colonel James D. Akers, U.S. Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel Zubir Benjama, Algerian Naval Forces. Lieutenant Commander Benjamin Amder, U.S. Navy, highest distinction. Captain Juan Carlos Rome, Armada Argentina. Lieutenant Colonel Aaron A. Engel, U.S. Marine Corps. Commander William Waters, Royal Australian Navy. Colonel Patrick C. Asplin, U.S. Army. Captain Moinal Hassan, Bangladesh Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Anthony J. Bango, United States Marine Corps. Captain Ricardo Fernandez Gomez, Marina do Brasil. Miss Laura Anita Barker, Department of State, with distinction. Captain Galen Manev, Bulgarian Naval Forces. Miss Laura Estelle Beasley, Defense Senior Leadership Development Program. Captain Matthew D. Coates, Royal Canadian Navy. Mr. David Beaupre, Office of Director of National Intelligence. Commander Alberto Torero Garcia, Armida de Chile. Commander John D. Berry, United States Coast Guard. Commander Alejandro Rueda Duran, Armada Republica de Colombia. Lieutenant Colonel Robert J. Bush, Jr., United States Marine Corps. Commander, Senior Grade, Klaus Lundholm Anderson, Royal Danish Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin D. Bain, United States Air Force. Captain Benino Alcantara Gil, Armada de Republica de Dominicana. Lieutenant Colonel Burke L. Bristow, United States Army. Captain Ahmed Fawad Mahmoud Fawad, Egyptian Naval Forces. Commander Gerald F. Burke, United States Navy. Commander Christophe Charpentier, Marine Nationale. Lieutenant Colonel Matthew S. Cantori, United States Air Force. Commander David Alcabedani, Georgian Coast Guard. Lieutenant Colonel Tommy L. Cardoni, Jr., United States Army. Commander Nicholas Lice, Deutsches Marine. Mr. Paul E. K. III, Department of Homeland Security. Captain Maxwell Arden, Ghana Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Adam Scott Conway, United States Marine Corps. Commander Stephanos Kutias, Hellenic Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Daniel L. Cornelius, United States Air Force, with highest distinction. Captain Sandeep Singh Randawa, Indian Navy. Commander Carl Ryan Kringle, United States Navy. 
Colonel Chechep Rugian, Indonesian Marine Corps. Mr. David M. Crow, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Captain Ghassan Abdulpur Madea Al Gabadan, Iraqi Navy. Commander Diane S. Kua, United States Navy. Commander Amir Goodman, Israeli Navy. Ms. Christina A. Del Castillo, U.S. Agency for International Development. Commander Francesco Fagnani, Italian Navy. Colonel Oscar F. Diano, United States Army. Captain Tomohiro Asami, Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. Lieutenant Colonel Charles Richard Donnelly, Jr., United States Marine Corps Reserve. Colonel Mofwak Kleopat, Jordanian Armed Forces. Lieutenant Colonel Gary L. Donovan, United States Air Force. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Peter Shikuku Chalimo, Kenyan Defense Forces. Mr. Brent Downing, Defense Contract Management Agency. Commander Byung-ho Khan, Republic of Korea Navy. Commander Stan David Duplagi, United States Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Ali Arashani, Kuwait Naval Forces. Mr. Todd B. Ebert, Defense Intelligence Agency, with highest distinction. Colonel Martin Lieberts, with the Latvian Army. Lieutenant Colonel Kirby M. Enzer, United States Air Force. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Khaled Abdel Rahman, Lebanese Navy. It's Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Fabiano, United States Army. Lieutenant Colonel Raimundus Germanis, Lithuanian Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Farrell, United States Air Force. Commander Mohammed Hazli bin Abu Hassan, Royal Malaysian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher L. Fott, United States Marine Corps. Commander Raul Hector Garza Galvin, Armada de Mexico. Mr. William B. Gannon, Department of State. Commander Kareem El Hamdawi, Royal Moroccan Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Whitney Benjamin Gardner, United States Army. Commander Sean William Stewart, Royal New Zealand Navy. Mr. Jeffrey F. George, Naval Criminal Investigative Service. Captain Robert Obea Obea, Nigerian Navy. Colonel John Paul Gregor, United States Army. Commander Per Christian Gunderson, Royal Norwegian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Rodney A. Hammond, United States Air Force Reserve. Captain Thani Harif Amaruki, Royal Navy of Oman. Colonel James Edward Hayes, United States Army. Captain Rizwan Khaled Sayed, Pakistan Navy. Colonel Jeremiah Scott Heathman, United States Air Force. Commander Daniel Alfonso Placencia Nevada, Marina de Guerrera de Peru. Colonel Jordan V. Henderson III, United States Army. Jr., Philippine Navy. Colonel H. Brad Hodge, United States Army. Captain Pavel Kristof, Bojorny, Polish Navy. Captain John L. Hollingsworth, United States Coast Guard. Captain Marcel Nebule, Romanian Naval Forces. 
Lieutenant Colonel Timothy L. Hughes, United States Army Reserve. Commander Abdul Aziz Mohammed bin Qasim, Royal Saudi Naval Forces. Ms. Heidi M. Holst, Defense Senior Leadership Development Program. Commander Abdul Salam Diallo, Senegalese Navy. Mr. Joseph Hunt, National Nuclear Security Administration. Commander Tobago Michael Mutsene, South African Navy. Ms. Marjorie June Hunt, Defense Intelligence Agency. Captain Juan Escrigas, Armada Española. Colonel Stephen Lee Eisenhower, United States Army. Commander Ahmed Lajmi, Tunisian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel J. A. Johnson, United States Air Force, with distinction. Commander John Fitzpatrick, Royal Navy. Commander Mitchell J. Claver, United States Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Sparrow C. Kumparakis, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Jason W. Knight, United States Air National Guard. Commander Ron J. Perret, United States Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Brian T. Cook, United States Marine Corps, with distinction. From the Naval Staff College, Class 2017, Captain Sadali Ben Missy, Algerian Naval Forces. Commander Suzanne J. M. Kraus, United States Navy. Captain Madani Mostafi, Algerian Naval Forces. Colonel Michael J. Kulikowski, United States Army. Lieutenant Ruslan Kaliev, Azerbaijan Naval Forces. Lieutenant Colonel Andreas Dominic Robert Lovato, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Mohammed Rafiq Islam, Bangladesh Navy. Lieutenant Commander Mark Bruce Leskov, United States Navy. Lieutenant Gregory Soberanis, Belize Coast Guard. Commander Laney F. Littlejohn, United States Navy. Lieutenant Kadawi Frank Sezono, Benin Naval Forces. Commander Michael J. Loomis, Jr., United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Gorgi Gorgiev, Bulgarian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Daryl William Lyon, United States Army National Guard. Lieutenant Commander Megan Coates, Royal Canadian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Patrick O. A. Maddox, United States Air Force, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Philippe Cory Goetia, Chilean Navy. Lieutenant Commander Scott G. Marsh, United States Navy. Lieutenant Rodrigo Daza, Colombian Navy. Lieutenant Commander Jared D. McCulley, United States Navy. Capitan de Corvette, Erlen Ikwangalu, Republic of Congo Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Mark McGill, United States Air Force. <laughs> Lieutenant Cedric Alo, Cote d'Ivoire Navy. <laughs> Colonel Jason L. Miller, United States Army. <laughs> Lieutenant Stipe Skellen, Croatian Navy. Colonel Trent I. Mills, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Kenneth Jensen, Royal Danish Navy. <laughs> Ms. Carla D. Mullins, United States Special Operations Command. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Hendrik Lund, Royal Danish Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel John P. Myers, United States Army. 
Lieutenant Commander Mustafa Abdelaziz, Egyptian Naval Forces. Lieutenant Colonel Mark D. Newell, United States Air Force, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Erke Selm, Estonian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Ryan S. Nye, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Commander Luis Cardenas, Guatemala Navy. Lieutenant Commander Jason Yuki Osuga, United States Navy. Lieutenant Antoine Guichard, Haitian Coast Guard. Mr. Benjamin R. Owsley Naisman, Department of State, with distinction. Coming out junior grade, Dinesh Kumar, Indian Coast Guard. Lieutenant Colonel Patrick M. Pascal, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Modit Soni, Indian Navy. Colonel Patrick D. Flong, United States Army, with highest distinction. Lieutenant Commander Ridwan Shah, Indonesian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel D. Landon Phillips, United States Air Force, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Aan Sebayang, Indonesian Navy. Colonel Lawrence E. Phillips, United States Air National Guard. Lieutenant Commander Stephen Gordon, Israeli Navy. Mrs. Stephanie M. Phillips, United States Government. Lieutenant Commander Dice K. Nakagawa, Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force. Lieutenant Colonel Timothy R. College, United States Marine Corps with highest distinction. Lieutenant Commander Junta Nakashima, Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. Mr. John G. Remicio, Defense Senior Leadership Development Program. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Adele Ma'ani, Royal Jordanian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Jeremy R. Reeves, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Commander Bayang Sun, Wong, Republic of Korea Navy. Commander Michael D. Reiners, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander J. Young Jung, Republic of Korea Navy. Mr. Free Robinson, Office of Director of National Intelligence. Lieutenant Colonel Abdul Aziz Burrashed, Kuwait Naval Forces. Ms. Kelly E. Sanborn, Defense Intelligence Agency. Lieutenant Colonel Elias Ozzy, Lebanese Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Dennis Sanchez, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Mindaugas Andrewlis, Lithuanian Navy. Colonel Justin Sad, United States Army, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Jason Solomon, Royal Malaysian Navy. <laughs> Colonel David L. Smith, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Mohammed Yahya, Mauritanian Navy. Colonel Curtis M. Schrader, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Alberto Guzman, Armada de Mexico. Lieutenant Commander Russell G. Schuhart, United States Navy. Lieutenant Goran Durkovich, Montenegro Navy. Lieutenant Commander Franklin V. Samilla, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Hisham Kotu, Royal Moroccan Navy. Colonel Stephen E. Sexton, United States Army, with distinction. Major Sebastian Binze, Mozambique Armed Defense Forces. Lieutenant Colonel David William Shevchik, 
Junior, United States Air National Guard with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Anthony Ukwesi, Nigerian Navy. Mr. Chadwick F. W. Slagle, Naval Criminal Investigation Service. <laughs> Commander Jan Fallen, Royal Norwegian Navy. Colonel James Parrish Smith, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Abdul Malik Al Kalani, Royal Navy of Oman. Lieutenant Colonel David R. Sonic, United States Army Reserve. Lieutenant Commander Ricardo Yontop, Peruvian Navy. Lieutenant Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Justin Bradley Spears, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Wojciech Ostalski, Polish Navy. Commander Marco D. Spivey, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Marcel Carnu, Romanian Naval Forces. Lieutenant Commander David Lyon Stanford, Jr., United States Navy. Commander Sammy Al Abdullah, Royal Saudi Naval Forces. Colonel Ryan Todd Stewart, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Abdu Kumbala, Senegalese Navy. Mr. Michael J. Stutzman, Department of State. Major Eileen Chua, Republic of Singapore Navy. Colonel J. Bradley Swift, United States Army, with distinction. Lieutenant Walter Bizjak, Slovenian Armed Forces Naval Unit. Colonel Matthew Tackett, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Yen Ling Yang, Taiwan Navy. Colonel David Allen Thomas, United States Army. Lieutenant Colonel Agneta Mapunda, Tanzania People's Defense Force. Mr. David R. Toller, Defense Senior Leadership Development Program. Lieutenant Duarte Law Lloyd, Timor Leste Defense Force. Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey R. Van Epps, United States Army, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Sama Agrigna, Togolese Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Shane S. Beasley, United States Air Force, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Mohamed Mazen Louise, Tunisian Navy. Captain Mark Bisley, Jr., United States Coast Guard. Lieutenant Colonel Hussein Al Zabi, UAE Joint Aviation Command. Lieutenant Colonel Daniel T. Walter, United States Air Force, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Daniel Bryan, United States Navy. Mr. Barrett James Wan, Naval War, Naval War College. Major Mary Drilling, United States Army. Commander Brian E. White Yelp, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy. With distinction. Sorry, champs. I'm in big trouble with God now. Major Nathan Knowles, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Stephen A. White Oak, United States Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Christopher Long, United States Navy. Mr. Stephen J. Wyden, United States Marshal Service. Lieutenant Commander Jeffrey Weber, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Tony C. Wilborn, United States Navy. 
Lieutenant Commander Phong Dinh, Vietnam People's Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Terry D. Williams, United States Army National Guard. Captain Nguyen Tuan Hinh, Vietnam Border Defense Force. Mr. Pat Patrick J. Woolsey, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Representing College of Naval Warfare Arleigh Burke Fellows, Lieutenant Colonel Lee Ballard, Jr., U.S. Air Force. From the College of Naval Command and Staff, Major M. Sean Abbott, United States Army. Lieutenant Colonel Brandon J. Frazee, United States Marine Corps Reserve. Major Kelly B. Allen, United States Marine Corps. Graduating with distinction, Colonel James R. Hackbart, U.S. Air Force. Major Matthew Allen, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel John J. Calvert, United States Air National Guard. Lieutenant Commander Andrew Robert Alvarado, United States Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Shu Refold, M. Khan, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Miles G. Alvarez, United States Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Roderick H. McCady, United States Marine Corps. Major William H. Anderson, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Mark A. Pontiff, United States Army National Guard. Mr. Guy Anthony, United States Government, with distinction. Lieutenant Colonel Raul L. Salcido, United States Marine Corps. Commander Vincent Aquino, United States Navy. Graduating with highest distinction, Lieutenant Colonel Matthew W. Tracy, United States Marine Corps. Major Joshua C. Arkey, United States Air Force, with distinction. Representing the College of Naval Command and Staff Maritime Advanced Warfighting School, Lieutenant Commander Robert Aho, United States Navy. Major Julie V. Austin, United States Army. Mrs. Natalia C. Aiken, Defense Intelligence Agency. Lieutenant Commander Ryan L. Baldwin, United States Navy, with highest distinction. Also with highest distinction, Major Kevin P. O.J. United States Air Force. Major Nicholas Carl Beck, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Zachary A. Bittner, United States Navy. Major Stephen J. Benedetti, United States Army. Major Daniel Brady, United States Army. Major Adam W. Blanton, United States Marine Corps with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Andrea K. Buck, United States Navy. Major Edgar, Andrew Edward Borda, United States Army. Major Joshua A. Berger, United States Air Force. Mr. Brad Boyer, United States Special Operations Command. Major Charles Campbell Bercy, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Commander Robert J. Briggs, United States Navy. Graduating with distinction, Lieutenant Commander Brian R. Deere Olive, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Matthew Philip Brinkley, United States Coast Guard. Lieutenant Commander Shane R. Dennis, United States Navy. Major Keith W. Bucklew, United States Marine Corps. Major Christopher Duff, United States Air Force. Major April A. Campese, United States Army, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Kevin Patrick Durkin, United States Navy. Major George Edward Cannon III, United States Air Force, with distinction. Also with distinction, Major Matthew Halton, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Luella Emanuel Challenger, Jr., United States Navy. Major Stephen L. Huckleberry, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Russell D. Chapman, United States Navy. 
Lieutenant Commander Dominique Jackson, United States Navy. Major Jonathan Trevor Chikowski, United States Air Force, with distinction. Major Ricky Michael Mandelo, United States Army Reserve. Major Logan Grant Kleinder, United States Army, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Mark James Natkovich, United States Navy. Major Felix L. Cole, United States Air Force. Go, go. Lieutenant Commander Thomas D. McCandless, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Lindsay Patricia Conti, United States Navy. Major Benjamin T. Nakamura, Sr., United States Army. Commander T. Ryan Davis, United States Navy, with highest distinction. Mr. John A. Nichols, Defense Intelligence Agency. Lieutenant Commander Alice R. Eustachio Brickhouse, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Curtis B. Niebuhr, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander David L. Deaton, United States Navy, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Brent Erlin Nevin, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Gabriel N. Defang, United States Navy. Major Daniel James O'Donnell, United States Army. Major Amanda L. Del Rey, United States Army. Major Byron J. Owen, United States Marine Corps. Ms. Stephanie DeMonts, Department of Homeland Security. Lieutenant Commander Brent M. Peterson, United States Navy, graduating with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Robert J. Dibburn, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Christopher J. Pittman, United States Navy. Major Roger A. Dominique, United States Army. Major Benjamin R. Poole, United States Air Force. Major Matthew A. Dotson, United States Army. Lieutenant Patrick T. Rawlinson, United States Navy. Major Terrence P. Dunn, United States Army, with distinction. Major Brian J. Roberts, United States Army. Mr. Daniel P. Durant, Defense Contract Management Agency. Major Anthony Nicholas Sama, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Jason P. Fabe, United States Navy. Major Brandon R. Schroyer, United States Air Force, graduating with distinction. Major Elise Victoria Fitch, United States Army, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Stephanie Marie Simone, United States Navy. Major James G. Finucan, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Commander Brent Lawrence Summers, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Taylor R. Forrester, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Ryan A. Tompkins, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander James R. Galloway, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Samuel Train, United States Navy. Major Kurt W. Green, U.S. Air Force. Graduating with highest distinction, Lieutenant Commander Jeffrey T. Van Nock, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Thomas C. Groves, United States Navy. Graduating with distinction, Major Benjamin P. Wagner, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander David Hale, United States Navy. Commander Larry Scott Wallace, United States Navy. Major Jacob E. Hale, US Air, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Commander Antonio R. Weatherspoon, United States Navy. Major Clint Savelle Hammer, United States Air Force. Graduating with distinction, Major Christopher D. Wynn, United States Marine Corps.
Lieutenant Lawrence R. Hanks, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Joshua Zelfer, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Jared Addison Harlow, United States Coast Guard, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Kenneth William Zilka, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Benjamin R. Hartman, United States Navy. Lieutenant Hallie C. Allaire, JAG Corps, United States Navy. Lieutenant, Com uh, Lieutenant Commander Timothy Hawkins, United States Navy. Lieutenant Omar Amakatari, U.S. Navy, with distinction. Mr. Albert A. Herrera, Department of Homeland Security. Lieutenant Commander Glenn A. Atherton, United States Navy. Major Ross, Ross M. Hurtline, United States Army, with distinction. Lieutenant David A. Babenkoff, Jr., United States Coast Guard Reserve. Mr. Nicholas G. Hicks, Department of State. Lieutenant Terrence H. Bennett, United States Navy. Major Matthew T. Houston, United States Army. Mr. Michael T. Berman, United States Senate, Washington, D.C. Lieutenant Commander William J. Howes, United States Navy. Ms. Gwendolyn E. Breland, Naval Meteorology and Oceanography Command, Stennis Space Center, Mississippi. Hello. Lieutenant Stephen L. Hyde, United States Navy. Yeah. Lieutenant Joseph Brown, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Christopher Andrew Jackson, United States Navy. Ms. Melanie C. Butler, Department of the Army, Washington, D.C. Mr. Kareem Nizar Jamjum. Department of State, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Arthur I. Soraldi, United States Navy Reserve. Major Nicholas Boyd Jordan, United States Air Force. Commander Anthony M. Clark, United States Navy Reserve. Mr. Scott H. Krinsky, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Mr. Drew W. Kramer, Department of Homeland Security, Washington, D.C., with distinction. Mr. Todd R. Kutkowitz, Military Sea Lift Command. Mr. Christopher M. Denzel, United States House of Representatives, Washington, D.C., with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Osvaldo R. LeBoy, United States Navy. Mr. Christopher P. Dockery, United States Senate, Washington, D.C. Lieutenant Commander Julia LaFleur, United States Navy. Mr. Craig W. Dollar, Federal Air Marshal Service. Lieutenant Kyra Danielle Lasseter, United States Navy. Dr. Jennifer L. Donath, Naval Air Station, Patuxent River, Maryland. Major Adam N. Law, United States Marine Corps, with highest distinction. Commander Christian R. Downward, United States Navy. Major John R. Leach, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Jeffrey A. Drewiski, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Jose Luis Lepez Suasigui. Mr. David H. Ehrlich, Navy International Programs, Washington, D.C. Lieutenant Commander Peter III Escobar Lasaka, United States Navy. Lieutenant Colonel John C. Eisberg, United States Army. Lieutenant James Edward Lewis II, United States Navy. 
Graduating with highest distinction, Mr. Daniel E. Eldridge, Department of the Navy, Washington, D.C. Mr. Charles A. Lobdell III, Department of State, with distinction. Mr. Mark E. Fiore, United States Naval War College, Newport, Rhode Island. Lieutenant Commander Mark A. Lux, United States Navy. Commander Joseph M. Hennel, United States Navy Reserve. Major Adam Christopher Macaluso, United States Marine Corps Reserve. Graduating with distinction, Major Benjamin P. Hernandez Stern, United States Air Force Reserve. Major Catherine M. Matrigine, United States Air Force. Mr. Robert W. Holloway, United States Secret Service, Washington, D.C. Major Jennifer A. Matt, United States Air Force, with highest distinction. Lieutenant Jacob R. Huntley, United States Navy. Mr. Matthew J. Marchand, Department of State, with distinction. Lieutenant Sean P. Hurley, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Thomas J. Mashuda, United States Navy, with distinction. Also with distinction, Ms. Amy P. Kelly, Naval Facilities Engineering Command, San Diego, California. Major Kevin Matheny, United States Army. Graduating with distinction, Mr. Jesse T. King, Naval Air Systems Command, Patuxent River, Maryland. Lieutenant Lisa M. Matrella, United States Navy. Ms. Diane T. Lundsman, United States House of Representatives, Washington, D.C. Lieutenant Commander Catherine M. McAlden, United States Navy. Lieutenant Alexandra E. Marin, JAG Corps, United States Navy. Major Bar Barry J. McGee, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Scott J. McCann, United States Coast Guard. Major Marcus A. McGinn, United States Air Force. Ms. Calpurnia L. McLean, Department of the Treasury, Washington, D.C. Major Jeremy T. McNeil, United States Army. Graduating with distinction, Captain David J. Moon, United States Marine Corps. Major David A. Burles, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander James F. Noel, Medical Service Corps, United States Navy. Major Patrick David Maris, United States Army. Lieutenant Adam N. Notberg, United States Navy. Major John C. Miller, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Sean B. O'Loughlin, United States Coast Guard Reserve. Lieutenant Commander Robert Mills, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Samantha A. O'Neill, United States Navy. Major Nicholas L. Morgans, United States Air Force. Ms. Lauren N. O'Prish, Office of Naval Intelligence, Washington, D.C. Major Douglas Long Morton, United States Army, with distinction. Lieutenant Commander Christopher J. Oswinecki, U.S. Navy Reserve. Lieutenant Commander Rodolfo Michael Munoz, United States Navy. Graduating with highest distinction, Mr. Bradley M. Tug, Sr., United States Senate, Washington, D.C. Major Jeffrey D. Murphy, United States Army. Graduating with distinction, Commander Keith E. Patton, United States Navy. Major Andrew M. Narva, United States Army, with distinction. Lieutenant Thomas G. Phillips, United States Navy. Major Frank Adam Negri, United States Army National Guard, with distinction. Lieutenant Christopher R. Reed, United States Navy Reserve. Major John Mark F. Nelson, 
United States Army National Guard. Dr. Michael J. Rich, Office of the Inspector General, Washington, D.C. Mr. Dennis C. O'Neill, Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> Lieutenant Ryan C. Rowling, Office of the Chief of Naval Personnel, Washington, D.C. Major Wyatt C. Otmar, United States Army. Graduating with distinction, Ms. Allison I. Rogers, Rhode Island Department of Administration. Major Michael Donald Puccini, United States Air Force with highest distinction. Commander Richard S. Rowe, United States Navy retired, Naval Surface Warfare Center, Dahlgren, Virginia. Major Stephen Gabriel Page, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Evita M. Salas, United States Navy. Major Joseph Paolilli, United States Army. Lieutenant Brian W. Sharp, Woo! United States Navy. Major Michael Thomas Parate, United States Marine Corps, with distinction. Also graduated with distinction, Lieutenant Commander Jeremy L. Stellan, Judge Advocate General Corps, United States Navy. Mr. Scott R. Pfeiffer, Department of State. Lieutenant Kyle A. Stone, U.S. Coast Guard Reserve. Major Jeremy Clark Reagan, United States Army. Lieutenant Gibby Tibinelli. Judge Advocate General Corps, United States Navy, graduating with highest distinction. Major Benjamin W. Ramsey, United States Air Force, with distinction. Commander Dwayne Wagner, United States Public Health Service. Mr. John Reardon, Maritime Administration. Lieutenant Stephen J. Walker, United States Navy Reserve. Major Robert Jacob Rydell, United States Army. <laughs> Lieutenant Thomas Wildman, United States Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Brian Francis Roach, United States Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Joshua A. Weimer, Nurse Corps, United States Navy. Major Craig C. Rumble, United States Air Force. Graduating with distinction, Lieutenant Corey Zebian, United States Navy. Major Joseph P. Ryan, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Penny T. Allerton, Supply Corps, United States Navy. Major Ethan E. Sabin, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Raymond S. Alley, Supply Corps, United States Navy Reserve. Major Adam R. Sacchetti, United States Marine Corps, with distinction. Graduating with highest distinction, Captain Stephen A. Bloodsworth, United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Major Drew Anthony Shaw, United States Army, with highest distinction. Lieutenant Rachel Ann Bradshaw, Nurse Corps, United States Navy. Major Michael Edward Schaus, United States Army. Graduating with distinction, Lieutenant Joseph Stryker Brown, Judge Advocate General Corps, United States Navy. Major William Shu, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Commander Cynthia N. Chanel, United States Coast Guard. Major Matthew L. Scott, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Evan A. Diakumakis, United States Navy Reserve. Major Christopher Sharp, United States Air Force, with highest distinction. Ms. Katharina Demenstein, United States House of Representatives, Washington, D.C. Major David Shirk, United States Army, with highest distinction. Also graduating with highest distinction, Ms. Cam C. Donahue, Naval Air Systems Command, Patuxent River, Maryland. 
Major Eric P. Shockley, United States Army. Mr. Freudian F. Fernandez, Surface Forces Logistics Center, Norfolk, Virginia. Major R. Jason Smith, United States Army. Lieutenant Michael S. Fonduena, United States Navy. Major Christopher Sue, United States Army. Graduating with distinction, Lieutenant Mark Green, Jr., Medical Service Corps, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Ian M. Starr, United States Coast Guard. Lieutenant Commander Mary Beth M. Hendricks, Nurse Corps, United States Navy Reserve. Major Scott L. Stevens, United States Army. Major Tracy L. Holshirley, United States Marine Corps. Major Robert W. Stillings, Jr., United States Army. Lieutenant Kylie A. Hoppy, United States Coast Guard. Lieutenant Commander da uh, Daniel Tavernier, United States Coast Guard. Lieutenant Commander Annette M. James, Supply Corps, United States Navy Reserve. Major James E. Tanner, Jr., United States Army. Yeah. Lieutenant Rory M. Larson, United States Navy. Major Joshua J. Tompkins, United States Army. Commander Peter Lenahan, United States Public Health Service. Lieutenant Commander David M. Tully, United States Navy. Colonel Anthony T. Leigi, United States Army National Guard. Lieutenant Commander Osvaldo E. Vera, United States Coast Guard. Lieutenant Michael D. Malakowski, United States Navy. Lieutenant Andrew R. Weiner, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Ian W. Marks, United States Coast Guard Reserve. Major Damian P. Williams, United States Air Force. <coughs> Lieutenant Commander Joanne Martinez Garcia, Medical Service Corps, United States Navy. Lieutenant Commander Sheree Tenise Williams, United States Navy. <laughs> Mr. Jonathan E. O'Neill, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Washington, D.C. Major Aisha D. Williamson, United States Army. Lieutenant <laughs> Commander John L. Parsons, United States Coast Guard Reserve. Major Raymond E. Wilson, United States Army. Ms. Megan A. Roach, Naval Surface Warfare Center, Dahlgren, Virginia. Lieutenant Commander Emily K. Wilson, United States Navy. Commander Michael R. Rochel, United States Coast Guard. Lieutenant Commander Jacob E. Wilson, United States Navy. Commander Bettina M. Sauter, Medical Corps, United States Navy. Lieutenant David Schneewise, United States Navy. <laughs> Lieutenant Thomas L. Stengrum, Supply Corps, United States Navy Reserve. And last but not least, graduating with distinction, Lieutenant Aaron T. Young, United States Navy.
standing for the benediction. <laughs> Sorry, chaps. Let's strike two for me. <laughs> Let us pray. Eternal Father, strong to save, as we depart for continued service on behalf of our nation and our world, we ask your benediction to rest on us for continued success in our mission and safety in all our operations. As you have graciously preserved us through the years and have led us in wondrous ways, grant that we may be worthy of our high calling. Make us reverent in the use of freedom, just in the exercise of power, and generous in the protection of those less fortunate. Inspire these men and women who have assumed a mantle of responsibility for the profession of arms that they may guide it wisely and well. Grant them in all their duties your help, in all their perplexities your counsel, in all danger your protection, in all sorrow your peace. Challenge each of us to recommit ourselves to the high principles of honor, courage, and commitment. And whether it is ours to lead or to follow, to end or to begin, we know that you are there with us, O oh God, and for your faithfulness we give you thanks. Amen. Would all military personnel please cover? Please remain standing for the departure of the official party and dignitaries. This concludes today's ceremony. We thank you for joining us today and safe travels to everyone.